Hello everyone, I'm Sharpedo43 once again bringing you all week 2 of the IBLD League. My opponent for this week is going to be It's Sock and the Minnesota Twin Needles. Now this is a brand new opponent for me honestly, however he's definitely not an unfamiliar face so I definitely uh, know a thing or two about him. I know him because he seems to be, and this is just for me, but I think he seems to be uh, quite an influential figure in the draft league community just because I've seen him in very popular servers like league servers on discord with very high ranks such as moderator admin or even analyst and from and so far in the servers that i've seen him in um has been like fan servers of popular leagues like gba and npa and speaking of npa i think he's even recently become an npa coach when he was in the gba versus npa war a league that they had um not too long ago and um I think his, the reasoning behind it was because he was also a commissioner for the MP AAA, which is a D League for the NPA, but for Showdown only. And uh, yeah, he was in charge of that. So I'm guessing due to his contributions and not to mention influence, probably that's why he he managed to you know have that privilege, you know, to be an NPA coach. So I guess you can kind of say he's an NPA coach as well, but just a more recent one, because the ones that I faced in the past have actually been OGs of the NPA, but. This one's a really, really new one. But all that digression aside, our opponent is going to be Sark, and this is the team that I brought against them. I brought a Nidal King, I brought a Houndoom, I brought this Idawai, Galvantula, Jirachi, and Mega Glade. He brought Mega Beedrill, he brought Beware, he brought Zerkatry, he brought Gliscor, and he brought Manaphy and Kalamala. Now, I think everything but the Kalamala I expected, actually. Beware is just because it's a hard hitter, Zerkatry is a hard hitter, Gliscor is a. It can be a hard hitter, but it's also a very good physical wall and can possibly set up rocks or something. It could be a double dancing set. It really just depends on the roles of, of each month or, you know, based on the team composition. Man, if it can be that annoying, um, you know, rain dancing set or tail glowing set or whatever the hell you call it. And Mega Beedra is annoying because that thing hits super hard and on top of that can pivot. Has knockoff as well. Has some coverage. Now, okay, so... Uh, this Nido King that I have is actually, I think it's carrying a Shuckleberry, and the reason why is because uh, looking at his team, he has a lot of Earthquake potential. Like, a lot of his mons can have potential ground type moves. Mega Beedrill can have that damn drill run. Uh, Beware, Gliscor, and Komala all can get Earthquake. So, that's like already four mons with possible ground moves there. So, I just definitely figured, eh, Shuck is probably a good idea to run on this thing. Now, Houndoom, Houndoom, it actually has a very, very unique set. It actually has a, a Grassy MZ. Reason why is because I don't want him, uh, Sock to just bring out Manaphy and just simply go for, um, what's it called? Tail Glow. I don't know if a Surf or a Skull would just one shot Houndoom, honestly. But regardless, I just don't want him to just stay and set up in my face because that's very, very possible. Because most of the time, Houndooms don't stay in on Manaphy's. But, um, yeah. Um, so in the side away, I think the side, I forgot what item was the side away. I think it was just an offensive set with, I think, Muscle Man. I don't even remember. It's because it's been a while since I actually did this battle, honestly. So I kind of don't remember what it brought. I, I know Jirachi Scarfed and I know Mega Galates. Well, Galadite, otherwise, how the hell would it be Mega Galate? And I think the Galvantula Sashed. The reasoning behind those are obvious. So yeah, with all that said, I don't know what Sock brought. So we're just going to find out right now in this battle. So yeah. Whee, that was a long talk. I really don't feel like I should be talking this much about Pokemon, but I do anyway, so what are you going to do? But anyways, this is Sark. I'm going to lead off with, I believe, Nido King. And he's going to lead off with, I think, Galiscor? No, it was Mega Beedrill. I'm a liar. So anyways, yeah, so this was fine because, again, I have the Shuckleberry. So if he has Drill Run and tries to go for it right here, I can take at least one. And I think here I went for Earth Power because I... I don't know, I didn't want Manaphy to predict, um, like I didn't want him to predict Ice Beam and just go into Manaphy because Manaphy would just resist and I can go for Earth Power just to get some damage. I don't think I have Sludge Wave on this, um, on this, um, what's it called? Well, actually, I think I do actually, never mind. I was going to say, I don't think I have Sludge Wave on this thing, but I think I do. I just didn't want to go for it because Gliscor could come in and resist and I don't know what kind of set this um, Gliscor was. I decided to risk it and stay in here to see if he was actually a max speed Gliscor, but no, thankfully he wasn't. But unfortunately, he was a Yachi Berry. So as a result, he just simply gets the Earthquake me now, which is kind of annoying. I do live it because of the Shulker Berry though, thankfully. This allows me to get my rocks up. I already know I can outspeed this, so what I decide to do now is just simply get my rocks up. However, this guy also decides to just go hit for his rocks as, as well. So we both have rocks, and 
unless one of us defogs them all away, um, he kind of really can't um, get rid of them. Especially if he needs the rocks on his side of the field as well. But uh, yeah, so here I think I try to go for a Ice Beam again, just to take out the Gliscor, because I don't want this Gliscor to stay around for too long, because then it'll roost and then it'll become kind of difficult to um, take out afterwards. So I take out the Gliscor. I thought he would go in the Manaphy right here, but he actually ends up going in the Mega Beedrill. Not sure why. I think here I just stay in though. I think. I try going for Earth Power because I was wondering, maybe his, this Beedrill has the Defog or something. But unfortunately, uh, he just goes for the U-turn and just takes out my Nido King. This is kind of good because I guess now I can kind of get some switch initiative because I can now see what he wants to go for. And he ends up going into Hobie, which is the Kamala. Now this definitely tempted me to go f straight into the side Y. And the reason for that is because I can't help but feel that he probably just wanted me to... Uh, he just wanted to get rid of the rocks with Rapid Spin because I do know that these Kamalas can in fact get Rapid Spin. So I'm hoping that he actually uh, switches out right here as I go for Leaf Blade. He does switch out, which is good, but which means I don't get hit, um, he doesn't get rid of the rocks, which is good. But he goes into this Beware, which, oh my god, you're going to see this right now. He's going to eat this Leaf Blade like no one's business. It's not even funny. Like, come on, seriously? This does, like, absolutely nothing. I think this Decide Why is offensive as well, and I definitely don't like that it does this little to it, honestly. But Beware has very good defense, and if this is the Fluffy ability, it's definitely going to take very little from anything, even when it resists. Hell, even super effective hits can, it can take. But anyways, here I switch on the Jirachi because I was kind of fearing the Ice Punch and really, really, really was hoping he wouldn't just simply go for Earthquake on a Decide Away. But he ended up um, going for Earthquake. This was a 50-50 that I was just hoping I'd win, but I didn't win it, unfortunately. So here I was forced to go into Galate and I just go for the Close Combat just to get some damage on anything because looking at his team, not a whole lot takes it. Not even this Mega Beedrill takes this Close Combat very well. I think it was capable of living it because, I mean, it's still resist nonetheless. But um, it'll still do a lot of damage to the point where he can't just be around for too long, honestly. Especially because the rocks are up and he, there's still no way for him to just simply get rid of them. So here I go for close combat. I do think this Mega Beedrill lives. Yeah, he lives, obviously. And I think I'm forced to switch out because I don't want to lose Mega Galade. Because looking at his team, if nothing on his team is Scarfed, I think Galade is my, uh, my win condition. So... I'm going to switch it out. I'm going to go into Houndoom here. I sacked Houndoom because, fun fact, I actually realized that this um, turned out to not even be the Grass DMZ Houndoom. Well, actually it was, but it didn't even have Solar Beam to actually use the um, sol the Grass DMZ. So it was basically useless. I wasn't going to be able to use it against the Manaphy whatsoever. So I just figured, you know what, just sack it. It sucks, but I mean, that's kind of how what we had to do sometimes. So here I go into the side white just to go for the Shadow Snake and finish off this Beedrill. Make sure it doesn't U-turn. And if he switches into anything else, it's going to take some damage. It stabs Shadow Snake from offensive to side away, if I recall. So, yeah. But here, down goes the the Mega Beedrill. He goes into uh, Beware now. Now here, I decide to switch out because I'm afraid of the Ice Punch once again. And I go into Galvantula. Now here, I was kind of hoping that I can actually take the Ice Punch. Uh, if he goes for it, if he goes for Earthquake, I definitely go down. But here I was hoping I could live the Ice Punch, and unfortunately I do not. Now this kind of made me feel like maybe, just maybe, this Beware is banded because I think that did a little too much damage. This was a non-staff Ice Punch we're talking about right here, that I don't think it should have KO'd honestly. But if it did, it's probably because it's banded. So I don't know. But here he's gonna switch out as I go into Mega Glade because close combat is something that. I'm pretty sure this Beware doesn't want to take. Even with the Fluffy ability, I'm pretty convinced a stab close combat from a Mega Galate will take it out. So here, um, I go for it on this incoming Manaphy. And I could have finished it off here, but I didn't want him to just potentially send in a a Scarf Zerka Tree and just Thunderbolt me with minus one special defense. So I decided to switch into Sideway, hoping he goes for Scald or maybe even Tail Glow or something. Nah, I think he'd just go for an offensive move. I was hoping he wouldn't go for Ice Beam then, right here. And here I just decided to finish it off with an Shadow Snake. I was hoping he wouldn't switch out, honestly. This was a risky move because I thought I wasn't going to um, be able to take this Manaphy out. But thankfully, he, he stayed in and let it go down. However, he now brings back this damn Beware. Now here, this is a very weird part of the, of the battle. I go for Leaf Blade just to get as much damage as possible because I figured, you know what, this thing is just going to take me off with a Ice Punch. However, I... I don't know if this is a misplay. He goes for Earthquake. At the time, I kind of thought it was a misplay because I think he could have just simply taken me out with um, Ice Punch. But you're going to see later in this battle that it, uh, you can kind of see why he did this. But yeah, I'm going to be able to take out this Beware, which is good for me. But what he's going to do now is send in Zerka Tree. Now this Zerka Tree, all he needs to do is go for Thunderbolt. And if he's Scarved, he wins because he'll get plus one special attack and Galate might not be able to take it. 
However, here he goes for the, uh, or I go for the Shadow Snake. This was supposed to be the wrong play, given the set that, okay, you're going to find out at the end of the battle. But yeah, here I go for Shadow Snake, he goes for Thunderbolt. I, at this point, was thinking he was either going to be um, Z-Hypnosis or even uh, Z-Hypnosis, uh, Z-Hypnosis, uh, Scarfed with Thunderbolt and just finish me off like that. But uh, you're going to see right here that this Gallade, um, I mean this Gallade, this Circuit Show is not even Scarfed and I'm just going to be able to take it out with Gallade. Now, this was good for me, however, I still thought he could have won this battle because if this Zerka tree was not Scarfed, then maybe, just maybe, the Kamala is Scarfed and probably has Last Resort. And since I went for Close Combat and I'm not at minus one, pff, close con or, um, Last Resort definitely kills Gallade from this point, so I was thinking, oh, he's going to go for it. But he's not Scarfed on this either, so I was just like, uh, what? Then what happened here? So, okay, so about the Zerka tree and the, the Sidewai matchup when I went for Shadow Snake. So, supposedly, according to Sark, he was that, that, but, um, beware. The Zerka tree was supposed to have Electrium Z, which, uh, like, Z Electrium Z, or, or, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Z Electric Turing, there we go. He had Electrium Z on that, on, or at least he was supposed to have it, so that he can get, ele um, Z Electric Turing up, which would give him plus one speed and pretty much allow him to late game sweep. So while he wasn't Scar, he had a way to set up to be at plus one speed and late game clean, uh, sweep. But unfortunately, because supposedly he didn't have it on this Zerka tree, he kind of misprepped and as a result, that pretty much cost it in the game because otherwise he would have won. So how do you like that? This is the, another freaking battle where uh, I, win a, I win because my opponent doesn't or either mispreps or just forget something or misgens or I don't know. but. It has something to do with the the reality, basically, where it's not the game's fault that I win. It's more so that the person just didn't prep right or something. I don't know how you call it, but like the fact that this happened again, bro, is like, what is this? Why, why, why are people like doing this to me right now? Like, why are they like losing because of mispreparations or something? Because then the, the thing that I don't like is that after the battle, then they say, oh, I forgot this. Oh, I missed Jen. Oh, this happened. I should have won. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't want to hear that kind of stuff. I don't want to hear them telling me I should have won that and you shouldn't have. And it's like, no, because, dude, you guys should have prepped better and you should have double checked everything before you send things out into the battles. Don't you realize that's what costs a lot of people in draft leagues? <sighs> like... It's crazy because I, I always feel like I know I'm not the greatest battler, dude, but come on. I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of the people telling me I don't deserve to win battles. Like, come on. That's not how things should work, honestly. But yeah, we're going to win this battle. And as you can see, um, that, that Shadow Sneak was supposed to be the wrong play. Because if he if he went for Z Electric Terrain, had I just went for Leaf Blade, he would have just gone down to a Shadow Sneak anyway. And then uh, Kamala would come in, maybe finish me off with Sucker Punch, and then I bring Gallade. And if it wasn't Scarf, then I just simply take it out. Hell, I might have even taken it out had it been Scarfed with, uh, yeah, it would have been Scarfed, but it would have had to lock itself into a Dark Move or something that resists, um, or something that could take out Ghost types because it can't go for, um, the last resort because that's a normal type move and sideways, uh, Ghost type, and I don't think Kamala's have Scrappy. I don't think, I could be wrong though, but I don't know. But anyways, that was, that was a good battle. It was actually a really, really close battle, obviously. Again, I know that I should have probably lost, but again, it wasn't me that missed part, it was him, so... What are you going to do? But anyways, with all that said, thank you all for watching week two of the IBLD League. Hope to catch you guys in the next uh, battle or something. But for now, just take it easy.